My name is Paul Swarbrick and I'm the Roman Catholic Bishop of the Diocese of Lancaster here in the northwest of England. I am in the Department of International Affairs for the Catholic Bishops Conference of England and Wales and I have particular responsibility for relations with Africa. I am talking now about the situation existing in the Cameroon and there we are experiencing gross human rights violations and uh, attacks on fundamental uh, services and infrastructure facilities within the country. We're conscious that it is an escalating situation and the difficulties are overwhelming, uh, distressing and complex. Some may be tempted to give up completely. Why bother? What possible difference can we make? But we can't do that because we are people of hope. And we want to express to the people of the Cameroon, both the uh, brothers and sisters in the, in the Catholic Church there, but all members of the population, irrespective of creed, irrespective of race, whoever they are there in the Cameroon, we wish to express a message of solidarity and of hope that we have not forgotten you and that we are doing what we can, even if it is very little, to try to, to give you help and to sustain your hope. Um, it would be difficult to walk away from so many of these situations, but that's not what we do. Shortly, I will be hoping to go home from my office and find things calm and in order. The people in the Cameroon, many, many of them cannot do that. They are homeless. They are um, at the mercy, as it were, of forces that are not good. So let's just remind them that the Lord has not abandoned them. And here is a prayer, again, a prayer that is used at the end of the rite of confirmation. And I pray this for all the people in the Cameroon and also for all those who are trying to reach out and, and support them and work for their good. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles and willed that through them and their successors, that same spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful. Listen favorably to our prayer and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now be present and spread through the hearts of those people of the Cameroon, particularly those who believe in you, but also those who long to know you. <laughs>